shake hands when the bell rings come out boxing and may the best man win. And Cleo said, I'll beat him in five. We'll see. A lot of people think that Cooper's big chance is to go in early with his left hook. And two and a half, Cooper six one and a half. So really is a fine figure of the game. And Cooper has certainly not come out after so many fights too quietly. Cooper has come out full of fight. And now Clay is arguing with the reputational start to this fight. There's blood on Cooper's left shoulder and that comes from Clay's nose. A sensational start to this fight. And Cooper right in the first. The ball in the first. And that first round has done wonders since left hooks and jabs. He's drawn blood from Clay's nose. He's hurt Clay and Clay has been forced to complain because he was very troubled. There's Cooper. Can he beat Clay and put British professional boxing right on top of the heavyweight world? Took several times, but he didn't go down or even show a sign. Clay now working on Cooper's face. This is Cooper's right hand, the first time he's shown it. As the bell ends the second so Cooper serious as it might be the 1960 Olympic light heavyweight champion the man who's been promised to fight with the winner of Liston and Patterson if he comes through this tonight the excitement has really started Cooper's left eye patched up now and still he hooks with that left hand and now he's cut over the left eye Henry Cooper is cut over the left eye and it looks to be for Cooper in the third round with only 40 seconds gone and Cooper is very badly cut over the left eye this is what we always feared about Cooper, round three. He's going to have a job to get through with that eye. And there's no telling now how long he's got to go, Cooper, with that eye. Just using his feet to keep away from Cooper. There's Clay hardly bothering to punch in this round now. He's just threatening and he's teasing Cooper. He's trying to make Cooper look small in the third round. Cooper under severe handicap now as he comes out for round four against Cassius Clay. And looking set for victory because of this handicap. And he called out to Clay in the interval, cut out the funny business and get down to work. So the Clay people are not too happy with that. This is not the way to go about things when you're a world heavyweight. And below, two streams of blood. To that eye, as though he can hardly believe his bad luck. The fourth round, and one looks for a sign opening minute. He hasn't seemed to hurt Clay very much with his punches. He's put as many. And now Clay is just jabbing casually with his left hand. Anything might Sounded and he's up at about.
about three, Clay. That was the end of the fourth round and he hit him about two seconds before the end of the round. Clay took one chance too many and he still doesn't know where he is. On the end of the fourth round and got up just after the bell and he doesn't know where he is. Looking at his corner. Tommy Little has gone to Clay's corner now to talk to them. Cooper, but now this crowd at Wembley are beginning to bathe for a Cooper win. Clay on the floor at the end of the fourth and now fighting to... Oh, and now Cooper's left eye is now. Clay's left, Cooper's left eye is pouring blood. Now Henry is dripping blood. Tough eye I've seen for a very, very long time indeed. I do not see how he can let this go much further. The towel has come in from Cooper's corner and Tommy Little's looking at it and he's had to stop the fight. There was no alternative. He had to stop the fight, Tommy Little. It's all over in round five. The man who was put down at the end of the fourth round and Cooper, he's beaten on a cut eye, is far from disgraced.